Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nick and you're watching Travel Hackers, where we talk about how to get the most out of all your vacations. In this video, we're gonna talk about Capital One's new Venture X card. Before we do, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So we just posted a video about Capital One's credit cards that they offer, the Venture cards, the Saver cards, and the Quicksilver cards. And uh, throughout the video, we kind of talked about how they really aren't offering as much as a lot of the other credit cards, like the Chase cards and the American Express cards, and they kind of were just lacking one major credit card, a premium credit card that offered a lot of points, a lot of rewards, a lot of benefits. And as we were about to upload the video, what do you know? Capital One announced the new Venture X card. So in this video, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna go through all the benefits, the sign-up bonuses, how you can earn points, and give you what our overall impression of uh, this new credit card is. So the Venture X card, right now, it's offering 100,000 points. Right now, the Capital One Venture X card is offering 100,000 miles when you sign up and you meet the minimum spend requirement of $10,000 over the first six months. So, first Capital One, they don't call them points, they call them miles, however, they basically work the same way that other cards work with the Chase with their Ultimate Rewards program and American Express with their points. So even though they say miles, it's essentially points. You don't just need to use them towards airfare. You can use them as well towards hotels, car rentals, things like that. For the 100,000 miles, it's essentially equivalent to about $1,000 a cent a point if you use them directly through their portal, but if you exchange them, you might be able to get some more value. You might be able to get two points per mile, but we're just gonna say that it's about $1,000 if you really don't wanna take the time and really go through the finding the best exchange route. And $10,000 within the first six months, that's a little higher than most credit cards in this premium category. Usually it's just over $1,000 every month if you break it down. With this, you're spending about $1,700 every single month in order to meet that $10,000 minimum spend requirement. So it is a little much, but the sign up bonus is a pretty reasonable one. You also receive $300 annual travel credit, and that's as long as you're booking it through the portal. So pretty easy. All you need to do is find something through the portal if you're traveling, which this would definitely be the purpose of this credit card, would be for active travelers. $300 of additional credit when you're booking through the portal, really easy. And right now they do have a limited time offer where it's $200 if you're booking through a rental service like Verbo or Airbnb. And the last real like sign up travel benefit that they're giving is 10,000 miles, which is basically equivalent to like $100 for every single anniversary. So a lot of credit card companies, they, if you give them a call, you know, say, hey, I'm not really sure about continuing with this credit card, they might give you like a retention offer, but there's really no need for them to give you a retention offer on this card because there's one built in. That's part of the perks of it is you get a benefit every single year just for having the card. So I think that's pretty good. You also can have four authorized users that's added with this card and that's going to be at no charge. And when it comes to annual fees, it's actually a a lot lower when you're looking at these top premium credit cards. It's $395 compared to like $550 or you know $700 with some other cards. Next, we're gonna look at how you actually earn miles. Now you can get 10x miles on hotels, rental cars, uh, booked directly through the Capital One uh, travel portal. You can get 5x miles on flights booked through the Capital One travel portal and then you do have 2x miles on all other purchases. It's pretty good that you do have these larger multipliers. However, for like rental cars and for hotels, you uh, don't actually get to take advantage of those. Like if you do have a, a status with Hilton or something like that, they actually, even if you do have, you know, gold status or platinum status or whatever status it is for the hotel chain that you normally use, when you book through this travel portal, you won't actually qualify for it. They'll just, they won't be able to give you those extra benefits because you booked through the travel portal. You know, I have heard of some people when they go book, even though they have booked through a travel portal, they have said that they've went to, uh, when they checked in and they actually were able to get their room changed and take advantage of some of those extra benefits. But it's kind of a case by case basis. You know, if they do have those added, if they do have the rooms available, you know, they might be able to upgrade you 
but if you are booking through a travel portal, I wouldn't count on it. That would be kind of like an added bonus. Also, I wish that there was an extra category where you're able to get bonuses other than booking through the travel portal. Both the 10X and the 5X is all when you're booking through the travel portal. It would be nice to have an extra category or another way of earning a, a larger multiplier, even if it was booking directly through an airline or something like that. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the travel portal. Now, they did just recently upgrade their travel portal. So when you're booking directly through the travel portal, you're able to get rates with the competitors for the same exact hotel, maybe like Expedia or booking.com you can see. So you know exactly if it's actually gonna be worth it for you booking through their portal. They do also have a booking alert. So it'll let you know when the best time is to actually book. And you'll be able to get alerts if you do set up a that you're planning on booking a certain vacation at a certain time. So you won't have to worry about the rate getting lower after you actually book. They also do have a price match guarantee and they do have and they do have a price drop protection. So if you do find that when you booked with them, they told you to just book now instead of wait, if you do actually book, they'll match that credit or they'll refund you part of your money. So that's actually pretty cool that they know about the rates pretty well. So that's pretty awesome. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the travel and airport benefits. Now Capital One, they recently announced that they are gonna start opening their own lounges and they do look pretty awesome just from some of the things that are available online. The first one just opened. They have two others that are announced and they said that they're gonna be announcing many more in the next coming months and years. So it seems like this is something that really trying to roll out to compete with like the Centurion lounges. Now these lounges are gonna be free if you do have the Venture X card and you're able to bring two guests with you if you have this card. And the really cool thing is if you have any authorized users, they'll be able to bring guests with them as well, two guests. So you can technically have your card four authorized users and every single one, all five cards, would be able to bring in two guests. So that's 15 people with just one membership. They did say that the rates for these lounges are gonna be $45 a day. So if you are, so especially if you're in Dallas where this airport currently is, or that's a place where you frequently have a layover, this card will definitely give a lot of value. Now, just like a lot of these premium credit cards, it does give you a membership to Priority Pass. So you would have access to 1,300 VIP lounges in more than 600 countries, in more than 600 cities and 148 countries. So this is kind of a standard. You would almost expect this from a premium credit card. Every single other premium credit card offers this. So if you are somebody that's really doing a lot of traveling, which that's the purpose of these, you know, more top tier credit cards is or traveling, if you didn't have access to these lounges, it would really be hard to go with this card compared to you know the Chase Reserve or the American Express Platinum card. And another thing that's expected is you do get a credit to Global Entry and TSA PreCheck. So you would be able to get a $100 credit every five years for one of these, so definitely a really good benefit. Pretty standard. Now the last thing we're gonna talk about is the value of this card. So the first year you would receive $1,000 with your sign up bonus. You also would receive $300 for your travel credit, $100 for your global entry, and a $200 vacation rental credit. Now the annual fee is $395. So this card would give you, if you maximize every single category, this card would give you $1,205 of value. So first year, definitely no brainer. It makes sense to get this card if you're looking at a travel credit card. And again, because of those lounge accesses that you, and again, because of the Capital One lounge access, if you are somebody that frequents Dallas Fort Worth Airport, then give you even more of a benefit. Now the second year, you obviously already received your sign up bonus, the vacation rental credit of $200 that they said was only a limited time thing. You know, you don't really know. It might come back next year, not exactly sure, but we're gonna assume that it's not available. So you would be able to get the $300 for your travel credit when you book through their portal. And then you also would receive the anniversary bonus and that would be $100. So 
your annual fee is $3.95. So at the bare minimum, it's $5 that you'd be making just for having this card. So it's not gonna cost you anything. So that's the breakdown of all the benefits and perks that you would be able to get with a VentureX card. For us, we definitely think it's worth it. Right now, we're not gonna apply for it, but we definitely see that there's a lot of value in it because we're waiting to travel a little bit, because we're gonna wait to travel in a little bit. Don't really have all these plans set up probably next year if they're still having all this value to it. Definitely would be a card that we would get, but it would only make sense for us if we're actually traveling very regularly. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of the VentureX card. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you in the next video. Bye guys.